today is the day I'm not feeling very well. Not feeling very well at all. <coughs> Since, since I got to Perth, um, it was about three days ago now, uh, camped in the bush the first two nights, and uh, been waking up with a uh, scratchy throat and dry, and just put it down to, I know, dust and not sleeping so much and what have you. So I had a few sort of um, late mornings to get up. That put me behind a little bit, and then of course there's all the deal with the bike show, uh, bike, bike show. Um, but uh, I got into Ravensthorpe last night, and we got to the pub there, and they just stopped in the serving, so I managed to get some food, that's good. Um, but uh, the, the throat's been getting worse, as you can hear, and um, I, I got a shiver, got feverish. And uh, so the, the hotel there, they got food and didn't send me down the road to another motel because they were full. And uh, I got I got in there, uh, which was lucky because um, it's quite difficult to find accommodation here if you just turn up. It's, it's normally booked out quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, I got in there and... Um, I slept for for good eight hours. Um, it's a weird nightmares, really strange, kind of abstract, recurring, repeating, kind of traumatizing <laughs> dreams. Um, and I didn't know what to do really. Um, I didn't know whether to push on. It was 187k to Esperance. Two hours to get out of bed. Um, just eat even just get walking across the room to put shorts on. It was just shaking and chilly. And so I got myself together and got over it and finally got out. Um, before which I I went on the Wi-Fi there and I booked um, Best Western in Esperance in a kind of forced my own hand try and get there, you know, and, and I've got somewhere when I get there that's booked and I know it's booked. Um, so I booked that and then I went to breakfast and it took me an hour to eat a bacon and egg sausage sandwich. I was absolutely hanging, I was still kind of falling asleep. Um, it was nasty. Um, and the girl who served me breakfast um, got chatting and about my trip and that, and I wasn't feeling so good. And uh, I asked her if um, you, you can buy um, antibiotics over the, uh, over the county here, and she said I'd have to go to the chemist and they don't open until 12. Um, so I asked her if they would actually sell them to me. Um, she disappeared into the back and she came out with two tablets. I took one, but the other ones. Something she got in Bali apparently. Um, I think they're working. Um, I got to Mun Munjalup, some place down there. It's 80k into this ride, sort of halfway stop. Um, got into there okay in about three hours, 20 minutes, which 50 miles into a headwind when you're feeling shit is, it, you know, I was, I was all right. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, And now I'm pushing on. So I've done another few K and I've got 80k to go. And uh, I don't know what time it is, but I'll be in Esperance before dark. And I'm just gonna just gonna have a nice big meal there, get my head down again, wake up when I wake up. And if I wake up feeling like I am I did today, I may not go to Northman tomorrow. Um, although having said that it might be a tailwind, so we'll see. But um, if I go into the Nullarbor and I need a doctor, 
he's going to be coming to me in an aeroplane, so um, I'm getting a lot of trouble for that. Alright, so I'll push on. Simplified my cockpit, by the way. Now I've just got these things on, got rid of that mobile phone jazz, and uh, just a tyre under there. It's a lot nicer, actually. A lot more clean. Uh, got a little pack of supplies, it's all packed. I've been going for uh, the longer sections, just sort of trialling that over this section where I don't really need to, but it's flattish, I don't need uh, to worry about the weight, and I didn't know if I was going to 